and take a look at this U.S. drought monitor. The new map just released this morning. 89% of the entire state is suffering from at least a moderate drought, but every single county is affected. You can see conditions are worse to the southwest and the northeast, but most of central Indiana is dealing with severe drought conditions. Getting a look at the drought's impact from SkyCam 6 now. It puts the dry conditions we are talking about into perspective for you. Crops are drying up, the grass is brown and brittle, and looks virtually scorched by the sun. And cruising along the White River, you can see the water is low, leaving banks looking crusty and dry. Just miserable conditions wow, out there. Wow, it looks miserable. And this drought could be one of historic proportions for Indiana farmers. That's the word from Purdue's agricultural experts. They say without relief soon, this will match the drought of 1988. Our TV6 reporter Norman Cox is live at a farm in Hancock County where the crops are feeling the heat and showing extreme stress. Norm? Well, there's no question that everybody is feeling the heat, but Indiana is feeling it worse. According to federal crop statistics, Indiana is the hardest hit of all the big corn and soybean states. And as you can see, the corn here at the Jeff Barris farm in Hancock County is showing severe stress already, and things are only going to get worse. Even if it had started raining July 1st, which it didn't, Purdue experts say the corn crop would have been down 20% since last year. If it indeed matches the monster drought of 1988, the losses will get much worse, more than 30%. We are in a, in a realm that we haven't been in very often in the past 20 or 30 years. It is serious. It could get way more serious if this heat and drought don't uh, break pretty soon. Soybeans are hurting too, but not as much as the state's corn crop. Ag experts say the drought is bad enough, but the heat piling on top of it makes it that much worse. Indiana is the worst uh, drought-related state of the major uh, corn and soybean states. Farmers are getting more worried because corn is now in the crucial pollination stage. If it doesn't get moisture soon, the ears will pollinate poorly. Farmer Jeff Ferris is already looking at ears that won't be worth much when it's time to harvest the corn and take it to market. The tassels are coming out, the silks are out, it's trying to, to pollinate, and uh, uh, the heat is definitely uh, damaging that process. If it rains soon, some of the crop will be salvaged, but it will be too late for ears like this one, which is already showing fewer kernels than normal. Well, you would just have a, an ear, a cob, that would either have a few kernels on it uh, as down to possibly no kernels. So that's uh, pretty much the end of your crop at that point. That would be the end of the crop. Purdue agronomists say the drought will hurt farmers but also consumers. They estimate the potential crop loss could raise food prices as much as 3.5%. Erica? And Norm, we're talking about crops, but what about livestock and the impact on meat prices? Well, that'll have an impact, too, but not as quickly. Uh, Purdue predicts that farmers who keep livestock will reduce or maybe even liquidate their herds. Initially, that might cause meat prices to go down this fall because there'll be a glut of meat on the market. But then next spring, when there aren't nearly as many animals to come to market, the prices should skyrocket. Hmm, not a good outlook at all. Thank you, Norman Cox, reporting live in Hancock County.